morning, everyone. Good morning. So I wanted to show you guys my bear. Do you guys have any stuffed animals at home? Yeah? Yeah? Lots. Lots. All right. Well, do they sleep with you in, in the bed? <laughs> you wouldn't be able to sleep if they are all in there. <laughs> All right. You you do yeah. yeah? You have some too? Ooh. Yeah, yeah. Well, you know, one of the great things about, you know, stuffed animals, and particularly this bear for me, is that, you know, whenever I'm afraid or scared that I can hold him tight and I can feel a little bit better. Do you guys do you guys ever get afraid? Are you guys all brave? Oh, scary dreams. You're brave. <laughs> well, you, you know, even I think some adults back there would admit that sometimes that we do get afraid. So it's it's nothing it's nothing bad or feel ashamed to be afraid, but um, one of the great things that we have as a church is that we have a wonderful Savior in Jesus that we can cling on him just like this bear. And that, uh, you know, we can put all our cares and our worries on him and that he will guide us and protect us and comfort us, right? So I wanted to uh, share with you guys uh, a story in scripture that talks about that because even the disciples, they got afraid. And there is a story in there where... Jesus and his disciples went on a boat, and then they got, there was this big swell that happened. And the majority of the disciples there, they were fishermen. So when this swell came up and it hit the way, the waves hit the boats, and it, it seemed like it was about to tip over, these guys were scared. They were super scared. And so do you think, uh, I'm sure if there were some bears there, they would be clinging to them <laughs> at that time, but um, do you guys know that story? Do you know what Jesus was doing at that time? Was he scared too? He's make Exactly. No, that's very profound. That's very good. But no, he wasn't afraid. He was sleeping. Yeah, he was sleeping on the boat. Have you guys ever had a storm that come to your house that really scared you? Yeah? So you, you would sleep through the storm too? Okay, that, that's good. Okay. You, Grace? Yeah. You were asleep, yeah? No, so you sleep through the storm. Well, Jesus did too, but the disciples, they woke him up and they said, Lord, save us. Do you, do you want us all to drown? And Jesus what he did is he got up and he talked to the waves and he commanded them to stop. And do you know what happened? Everything stopped. Everything stopped. Right. It calmed down. And Jesus told his disciples, why are you afraid? Do you still have no faith? So what's so cool about that story, guys, is that the same Jesus that when he speaks that he calms storms, he can calm the storm in our lives too. When he speaks to us and we go through our troubles, that when Jesus speaks, everything goes, it, it calms down. So what we need to do, just like it with our bear there, that we cling to Jesus in times of trouble and of joy too, but in, especially when we are in those rocky moments of our lives that we we remember that jesus is our comforter he is our our savior and most of all he loves and wants the best for each and every one of you so so you guys can you say amen to that amen, amen. all right let's, let's go to god in prayer dear heavenly father lord we thank you uh, for your son jesus christ we thank you uh, for the authority that he has um, over the whole earth as as Marley mentioned, that he created, he was part of the creation, so um, of course he's not afraid of anything, Lord. And we, we thank you that, um, that you sent your son to save us, to, to for, 
Help us with our forgiveness of our sins, Lord, but then most of all that um, those that believe in Jesus, that call on his name, that we can be your children as well, adopted sons and daughters. And we pray, Lord, as we continue in our worship here, Lord, that we, that we focus everything towards you and, and that the parts of our lives that are, that are a little rocky, that we, we put those before your feet and that we, we trust and rely solely on Jesus. And we pray this, Lord, in your son's precious name. And all the kids say...